Hey everybody, we're back. Looks like I've got 700 notes, 77 jigsaws, and a little over three and a half hours. It's not bad at all. Uh, I was really hoping to do that. Anyways, uh, so we're going, we're doing pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I used the Cheeto pages, the, the Cheeto codes that I found earlier to double my blue egg and red feather counts. Those of you who don't know, just go to the <coughs> sandcastle on Treasure Trove Cove where you can type in the names stuff. I've explained this already, but you just type in the codes that Chio gives you and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You know. Anyways, let's uh move on. I'm not really looking forward to what I'm gonna have to do here. Because although I don't mind the next world that much. Uh, this is gonna be. There's just one jig in particular I'm dreading right now. If I can remember where the uh, painting is to enter this world, I believe it's over here. <coughs> oh, yeah, we raised the water level when we were over at Mad Monster Mansion, so that's already set up. Wait a second. Something tells me. Yeah, I totally forgot where. Actually, I remember that the painting is somewhere in this area. Buzz off. Leave me alone. I thought I could chase you underwater. I guess I was wrong. I vividly remember being, uh, diving underwater to get away from those guys, and they came after me anyway. Okay, so this is the entrance to the next world. The dreaded Rusty Bucket Bay. <clears throat> now all I have to do is figure out exactly where the entrance is. I believe it's somewhere around here. Um, it's down there. I think it's down here, unless this is where we found Mad Monster. Uh, we'll know in a minute. <coughs> Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to make these rhyme. Okay, yeah, this is where we opened up Mad Monster Mansion. Which we need to go th back. Hello. I should stop for some air. That's okay, we're almost back. <coughs> yeah, we're good. Got two areas to get up here. <sighs> Is it down here? Wait, wait, no, there's not even a. So, where do I go? How did I forget? Is that worse? No, that I have to raise the water level first for that. Unless that's right? I don't remember doing that. Okay, what's up here? Oh. Uh, Mr. Cauldron. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's something in this box. I just know there is. Oh, well, that answers my question. <clears throat> I guess that is the direction you're supposed to go. I just forgot that the water switch is under there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Anyways, this 
Uh, Rusty Pocky Bay houses the most difficult jiggy in the entire game, at least in my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people agree with me. Ah, here we go. And we place our jiggies. And... The ship knows that Rusty Bucket is waiting for us. No one else is here. I think there's a Cheeto page somewhere around here. Actually, wait. Wait, what's over here? I think this leads to where you get the... Well, I keep saying Cheeto page, so I'm thinking of Banjo Tooie. It's just because Skullboy started his Let's Play of it, and... What's the point of that? Okay, I guess they just put a pointless tunnel in there. Sure. It's not... it's your game, Rare. <coughs> why did I... You know, I, now that I think about it, I actually do remember that being there, so why do I always forget about it? Watch out for those uh, areas because you can't. Obviously, in Banjo Kazooie, there are no underwater attacks. So they can hit you and you can't do a thing about it. I actually really like this music for some reason. There's something about it. I don't know why. This level actually is pretty cool. I like this world, except for that this one jiggy with the dreading. And I have no particular order in which I'm going to do all this, as usual. Okay, what's in here? Ah, notes. And is that it? Oh. Okay, three eggs to take care of him. Whoa. Didn't realize you were that close. Oh, it's a small one. one. Buzz off. Uh, yeah. Coal. Oh, I see a gold feather in there. But I don't need it. Okay, this, that's only other thing. This level, I, I always get lost in it. Okay, now, before we actually go onto the ship, even though I already went on the ship, I think we're gonna take care of all this over here. One thing you didn't know, Skullboy, or at least I don't remember seeing you do it, is four more eggs on top of the two, and it goes out farther. Which means you have access, if you can, don't worry about that guy, and you have access to the uh, gold feathers and mumbo token, you can get it. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Oh, this area is mean, especially for me. Yeah, let me... Okay, first off, for those of you who don't know, the water is really oily, which means that you'll lose... I'll let Grant explain. My oily water and you plunge, you'll lose air while in that gunge. And if you dive underwater, under this gum, you'll breathe your last, because air is used twice as fast. Yeah. So, obviously... The water, you lose air whether you're on top of it or underneath it, and if you're underwater, you lose air twice as fast. And on top of that, that ginger's out on that buoy, which wouldn't be so bad except for the fact that... You hear that? That's right, they brought sn freaking Snacker back. I hate you, Snacker. Okay. Over here, there is a j there's something. I think it's just a jiggy over here. Come on, camera. Yeah, you do not want to stand in water too long. This water also counts as oily water, even though it's clearly not oily. I'm pretty sure this is the only flight pad you'll find in this level. I feel stupid. I'm gonna. Worth it. Never mind, didn't kill him. That's lame. If I'd kill him, that would be so worth it. That's right, this is where 
Yeah, the last time I played this game, uh, it took me a long time to find that last one. I just kept looking around like, where is it? Then I'm like, oh yeah, you have to go into the snacker infested waters. So I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get in this room. I don't think there's any other way. I think I could be just dead wrong. Voila. Hey, we've got almost all the uh, empty honeycombs now. <coughs> so swim back out here, and I think Snacker will respawn, which means I'm going to have to swim fast. Yep, he's back. Run, run. Yeah, he won't follow you outside of there, though. That's the nice thing. Yep, over in this, or over here anyway. <coughs> Let's get our air back. And take care of a jiggy over here. Oh, poor little dolphin. The anchor's on top of the dolphin. So, follow the chain. That was weird. There it is. Yeah, I don't like being underwater in this level. I like doing that. You jerk. Oh, come on. Hey, it worked. I guess that has an area of effect. Yeah, watch this. It's always. I always thought it was funny. This anchor and. Oh, I've been sliced in half. Thanks, guys. I found this earlier. It's, it's yours. Of course, he leaves it on the bottom of the bay, which means you have to worry about your air. See, this, uh, this level right here, this is one of the easiest levels to die on. There's lots of places where you can instant, instantly die, and there's lots of places to drown. So. On the N64 version, if you died here, you had to start all over and collecting your notes. Which meant that it was... Which meant that you wanted to be really careful, either um, collect all your notes first thing and ignore everything else, or, uh, you know. Myself, I will... I don't expect to die except for camera. Okay, that was weird. Let's grab that jiggy. I'm going to be saving the hardest jiggy for last, just because I don't like it. Oh my. Okay. Camera, don't do that again. The camera is. It feels like it doesn't act quite as naturally as it did in. Oops. Oh! Dang it! Uh, the camera seems to get stuck a lot more often than it did in the N64 version. On the plus side, it's uh, mapped to a stick instead of buttons now, so. Somewhere, uh. It's a lot more smoother, basically. You can do light, much lighter adjustments than you could before. Okay, I want to pound this. See? It's not so hard. And in here... There's a jig in here, I just know it. Extra life, eggs, notes. No jiggy? Okay, then there must be... You know, I remember there being something in here other than just notes. Is it Jinjo? Oh, there was a Jiggy. That was right. I'll take that. notes. 
Is that all that's in here, though? Just a four notes and a jiggy. Oh, and a fish. Hi, fish. We're playing Banjo 2 I'd zoom in to get closer with that fish. Not sure why. Oh, come on, get in the box. Hey, nice try. I feel like pounding the fish. I don't know why. Hey, come to the surface. Come on. All right, fine. I'm out of here. <coughs> oh yeah, forces you underwater. You can kind of get out of the uh, air restriction if you do this for some reason, but when you're not actually in contact with the water, your air meter doesn't drain, so it's a little, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Yeah. I love this game. I've heard things about uh, nuts and bolts. Of, uh, I've been having a couple friends that recommend the game to me. Even though, from what I've seen, it's not anything like Banjo Kazooie. Oh, by the way, this acid will make you lose air and health, so be careful. But, uh. What is it saying? Oh, yeah. Nuts and bolts, it's. People say that it's fun if you. It's, it's fun, a fun to do game and everything, but it's not. It's not really Banjo Kazooie. Place platforming with a uh, vehicle building, which I've heard is pretty good, though. Like, as Zathos has said, if, if you like Legos, then you'll like this game. Although he doesn't like this game, or he, doesn't, he likes. I don't know what he thinks of Banjo Kazooie, but wait, what's this? Oh yeah, uh, we'll get this, or at least try to. Faster! Got it. Yeah, this one will actually go all the way down until you leave. See? Okay, we're gonna take care of the ship. We're gonna take care of this area one, at a, one place at a time, so. Life. Not 
that big a deal, but, uh, I mean, honestly, extra lives are kind of uh, pointless in this game, because you go back down to three whenever you start the game up again, after turning it off. Was that three? I think it was three. Whoops. Yeah. Wait, was this the room with the Jinjo? And there's like a Jinjo crammed in a corner somewhere. Or if you didn't listen for him, you would miss him. Yep, I hear him. Yep, told ya. Cram in the corner. Blink and you miss him. Get us out of here. Okay, we're almost done with this part of the... Uh, right. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. I have to go back and, uh... Go into the ship, then crawl across. Forgot about that. <clears throat> this will probably not be my fastest take at this level. See if I can remember the pattern for this. If I remember this, then I would. I'm such a big nerd. Three. One. Two. One. 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 I can't believe I remember that. It's right on the wall somewhere in the, on the ship, but I was able to pull it out of my memory, even though I actually haven't played this level in a long time. Now we can go back and 